Good afternoon, happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. I'm actually making dinner right now. Um, I just finished cleaning the kitchen, so other than the refrigerator that has a whole bunch of <laughs> stuff still on it, everything else is all nice and cleaned up, except for, like I said, got dinner going. Um, so, <laughs> I know I told you guys too yesterday with our smoke alarm, we need to get a new one because it is like super sensitive right now. Um, because I don't even know what ended up happening to it. But last night when I came out of the shower, I was done taking a shower. Um, it started going off at like, you know, everybody else in the house was asleep. And I think it was from like the water vapor that was causing it to go off. So we took it down. Um, because I told you guys yesterday I was making noodles. And from boiling water, the smoke alarm kept going down. And I couldn't get it off. The ceiling was the problem. Because my dad had got it up there. Um, and like it didn't twist in right. So it was really hard to get out and I couldn't and so yesterday I was home by myself and it kept going off and going off and going off while I was boiling water and I was like honestly I'm not going to stop because I was almost already done like I already put the noodles in and they were cooking and it was probably like another five minutes but it just kept going off I felt so bad because the dogs kept freaking out and then last night I come out of the bathroom after I was done in the shower I went into my room and the poor dogs are all in the hallway and the thing started going off which is right here in the hallway um, so yeah, guys, it was pretty, pretty bad. So I don't have to worry about that today. So I'm making the chicken kiev that I was planning on making yesterday. Um, so like I said too, I finished cleaning the living or the kitchen, which was honestly super fast to clean. Like the bathroom yesterday took me a while. And for some reason the kitchen today, just like, I just seemed like I was rolling. Um, and so I was like, you know what then? Um, the reason I didn't end up getting to organizing more in the laundry room was because again, the bathroom ended up taking me kind of long yesterday to do. And I was a little pooped from so much cleaning and stuff like that yesterday from, you know, organizing the laundry room. So I decided that I would go ahead today and do a little bit more. So I will show you guys sort of the before and after, um, from the laundry room. Um, let's see, the chicken kiev's got about 15 minutes left. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys my process in doing this, um, right now. This is the troubled area that I'm focusing on. I'm probably going to end up doing just this for right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a mess, guys. It is disorganized. It is chaotic. Again, at one point, everything was nice and like, you know, kind of set in, you know, put in the right place and stuff like that. But I feel like the problem is, is that if you cannot you know, correctly get in here to put the stuff away, it just kind of gets thrown in place. As you guys can see, like, it looks like tablecloth is, tablecloths are supposed to be here, but there's some that are here. This is dog's clothing, um, like, you know, the dog's little, um, extra collars and, like, other little outfits and things like that. Because we used to put Ike in sweaters and stuff like that all the time because it gets so cold in the winter. And now we do the same thing for the puppies. So we have some sweaters and things like that for them as well. But um, we, we also have some uh, Halloween costumes in there. But again, this is just kind of like chaotic. I think honestly at one point all of the like towels, tablecloths, any like type of cloth thing was up here. And then because this was dog stuff and then there was, this is like hardware bin sort of like inside ha hardware bin. Um, like just extra little things like there's a tape measure, a screwdriver, a hammer, you know, that kind of stuff. But I want to go through it and figure out what should actually be out in the garage and what should be in the house because some of the stuff should be out in the garage. Um, I don't even know what's in here too. Like this was holding, I think light bulbs or something at one point and now the light bulb are up there um but like I said it's just it's a mess it's unorganized chaos like I did in this space when I organized this I have some boxes that I'm just using as sort of placeholders right now we're gonna get the totes this weekend like the organizing bins and everything like that that we're gonna put in here like the ones that we redid the closet with but for right now I have got a few boxes that I'm going to just put some things in um so like you know I'm just gonna do tablecloths or whatever in one of the boxes and then put it back on that shelf so like here I've got hammer screwdriver like I said tape measure that kind of stuff and this is going to go in a bin on that shelf but for right now I'm using it just to hold things so that we can organize because we have a lot of excess boxes in the garage um but obviously they're they look really ugly I want something nice and something that's see-through too because I feel like that's really helpful if you can see it when you're looking in here you can be like oh that stuff's right there that stuff's right there you know whatever the dog stuff is in that bin you know the laundry stuff's in this bin because like even right now I was sort of like wait what's in that 
that bin what's in this bin but it's so funny though guys because it's so nice and like cleaned and organized right now compared to what it was um that when I came in here yesterday um, to feed the dogs, I was like, whoa, what happened? Like, I thought we were robbed because all this stuff was all picked up. And I was like, this freaked me out, like, completely because it was actually picked up. But I'll show you guys sort of my process and what I've been able to get done. But like I said, that, maybe if I can't get to some more in this area, I will try to. But that is my project that I'm going to work on for right now. Fast forward to a, maybe a few hours later. And I got it organized, guys. I know this still looks like kind of a cluttery mess. Not nearly as bad as it looks, but like I said, I'm waiting on needing to get the bins um, so that I can put the stuff that is now all organized into them. Um, so what I decided after looking at the spacing and um, looking at the other ones that I had. So like I showed you guys in the vlog two days ago, I think it was, those... Um, those storage containers that I'm using in the linen closet, I really love them. They fit perfectly, um, you know, and everything. And <laughs> I use them, I really like because they have the see-through lids as well, instead of like these ones, how they have the white top lids, which isn't a huge, great big deal, but I do like that a little bit more. I like the way they open too, because they're a little bit more secure, um, because they have like the snap latch thingy on them. And whereas like these just kind of like pull up like tab lids sort of um but I, like I said I like those other ones better so I was trying them in here and because of this pole I cannot get two to fit on the shelf um and then because of this cabinet I can't get them to slide in this way so I was like oh well maybe I can at least put like one here and maybe like one sticking out this way or something um the only place I can fit them is actually up here so what I'm going to do is actually get two of the large size ones because this is um tablecloths up here and then this bin down here is all towels like hand towels and dish rags and things like that um or like I guess dish towels sort of um and so I want two large ones because those I think will fit best in there so I'm going to get two of those and then I'm going to get smaller ones that are just like this like I said I don't really love this but I guess it's not going to be that big of a deal so what I'm going to do is get um I think I'm going to get three or four more. I'm going to get four more in total. So I'm going to have three stacked up here like this. Probably the contents of each of these boxes is going to go into one of these. Um, and then here I'm going to do another two boxes. I can't do three here only because of this cabinet door again. So I can still t stack two here. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to arrange this. I know this bin for sure because this is all like dish rags and things like that are going to be on this shelf along with the dish towels. So that's the stuff we probably get to the most. Like light bulbs and and um, maybe I'll put the, those are like, like I said, household tools I put in this bin. I'll probably put that down here. This is excess electronic things, which honestly I'm debating on whether or not we should put in the garage or leave in the house. Um, only because it's stuff that like we haven't gone through in forever. And we do have a lot of electronic things, like more just like chargers and like cords and stuff like that out in the garage anyway, because my dad has that stuff organized. And then on this lovely shelf over here, there's more cords as you guys can see, but like I'm thinking extension cords and stuff like indoor extension cords to leave in here and then some of like we have I think extra HDMI cords and those type of things in this area to put that maybe in from this into that new one like I said um and then these are cookbooks so I don't like again this is also a mess and a project for another day but um yeah so that bin will, and then also this bin will be combined into probably one and like I said we'll go through and figure out actually what we need I actually this bin was up here along with back in there's fuses um and I learned the hard way this shelf actually needs to be I think tightened or fixed or something because it fell um um, well, I was trying to um, actually pull the shelf out a little bit more so you guys can see how it actually doesn't go all the way back. I don't, these obviously are not the right size shelves for this. Um, but again, <laughs> I was trying to kind of pull it forward a little bit and it fell off the track on that side. And this bin that was super heavy came down and yeah, um, it was, <laughs> I learned the hard way that that shelf was not sturdy. Um, but like I said, just putting that, those like towels up there is not going to be a huge big thing for right now um and it has been like that for forever I just didn't you know messing around with it ended up making it fall and that 
this was what was super heavy and I think caused it more to come like off. So the shelf like shifted this way and then this, this side of it just went down like that. And so I tried to catch it and I did without it breaking anything, um, which actually there was nothing on that shelf, but I just didn't want like the shelf to break or anything um, because then this side was still hanging here. But yeah, they're not secured down really well. Anyways, though, guys, that's sort of what it looks like right now. Um, and I think I am just going to leave maybe like extra laundry detergent or like extra something cleaner. Um, maybe put a bottle of like Shout or something like that up there because um, I will have this little section will be clear because I'm just doing three bins up on this side and I can't really fit anything else over here like bin wise so that's why I'm thinking I'm going to just do something like that so like maybe shout or bleach or something like that so that it's easy access to it so I can get to it if I need to throw it in the laundry you know when I'm doing laundry um so like I said I don't totally know but I did organize also down here um too so this section is actually all cleaned and the floor is kind of clean right now too I kind of just went over it with a um a mop sort of but not really like deep cleaned it um but down here I've got extra laundry detergent mainly tied um and then also bleach over here and then these are like our buckets so we have one of these like whatever they're called mop kind of things and then just extra buckets are back there I don't really love how this is laid out I'm thinking I might change it probably at some point for right now it's okay um but like I said I don't really know what I want to do I feel like there's a lot of lost space right here um you know again we live in a small house so any extra space that we can find I love to use but I feel like we could almost do another shelf maybe here or something where we can just put extra things to maybe laundry detergent maybe something but I feel like this space right here is kind of lost and because there is like this is sort of like a water meter -y thing down here <laughs> um and because of that we can't really put like you know like a laundry basket or something in here because of the spacing so um we can leave the buckets down there and still put another shelf in and still everything would be totally fine we have this over there which is where we put cans because we recycle the cans um actually at a recycling plant and so um I was I had it back there but the problem was was that it was super hard to get to like when I needed to empty it because again all these pipes and things like that and then also too because um when people would try and throw it back there because you couldn't get super close to walk it you know <laughs> into there so you kind of throw it they wind up all over the floor and then there was like spilled coke and pop and all kinds of stuff you know down there so that's why I kind of just leaving this here for now again I don't love the placement of it maybe I'll try and figure out something else that works a little better but for right now that's just how it is and then my dad's shoes because he normally goes through the side door when he leaves um for like work and stuff so that's why those are there um but yeah that's kind of like I say, guys I got this section at least kind of clean and organized right now again some of the stuff is just not going to look pretty like we have leave our Aldi bag hanging on a hanger of this pipe and then the uh and then normally we which I just threw up there right now we'll stack like our um paper towels actually up in this section over here um so yeah guys it's I, I like this space but like I said there's a few things that I feel like are missing space like you know missing that we could add a little bit extra to so I'm thinking another shelf over here like I said probably something like that and just do it down there we can always take it out if it's really not working or it's too hard to get to things or whatever um but like I said this this right here is just all like excess space to me like I need something that like fills in this air space like there should be something here um the other thing I kind of like which I did sort of clean this laptop but it's not draining out right now um this is actually just a rust stain on here but I'm thinking of maybe a little shelf even too here to put some of the like cleaning products and things like that on this. We don't normally use this laptop a whole ton only because again there was things that came out to like here like you couldn't get up close enough and walk up to it. So um, this is just a laundry basket that is actually for my parents clean clothes but um, they don't have any clothes that are clean right now. Um, that I, they didn't already take care of. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm like, just, there's some things in here that I see that I'm like, we can probably do that a little better. But like I said, I'm frustrated that if this pole was like a few inches this way, I'd be able to get those boxes to fit here. Um, and if this shelf was like over a few inches this way, I could get the other box to slide in there. But I think this is, like I said, just what I'm going to go with. So it works. Um, but 
yeah, that's kind of my update to the laundry room, my process throughout this whole week so far. Um, it's been going really good, and like I said, it only took me a few hours, and I already finished um, the kitchen stuff today, cleaning, so I have the living room still to do tomorrow, but again, guys, that's it. Well, guys, I'm going to go take a shower and get to bed. I also just got done editing two vlogs. It's 11 o'clock. They were really long vlogs, too. I was like, this is going to be perfect. Like, I'm going to be done. I actually ended up eating some dinner because kind of late um because I kind of ate late <laughs> earlier um so I was actually watching some of the NBA was just on ESPN I was like I still have some time before I really need to like take a shower and stuff like that I was like how about if I edit and I was like maybe I'll get through like two and then just like wait a while and then take a shower and get to bed because I was like I probably won't have enough time to get through four um but I ended up getting through two and the thing was they were all like really long vlogs like 15 minute plus vlogs that I ended up editing down but um yeah it ended up taking me a little bit later so I'm getting to bed a little bit later I went to bed kind of late last night um which stunk but again I'm trying to get this stuff done so um tonight and stayed up a little bit late but it's still earlier I think than last night so I'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog though if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you subscribe and I'll see all of your sun shitty faces tomorrow so bye guys